What's up everyone, this is Ross from software.webs.com and today I'm going to show you how you can clean up your system if it's been like hijacked or like right here I have a problem. you already seen my video where I do like a couple links but you do not see what I did during the during the um, you know like you didn't see what I did during uh, how, how did I remove it and right now I'm going to show you how I clean up the system now if you're if you live in New York or New York area, I would not recommend you to watch this. If you live outside New York area, I kind of don't care. Now, what do you need to do? Well, basically, if one of my clients received this, they probably would call me right away and tell me that their computer has been uh, hijacked or taken over and they can't remove this. I will probably come over to the house or they probably will bring me m their computer to me and I will probably do some steps to clean it up but if they call someone else they probably do a format and format is not always the best option because if, if you do a format you probably will lose all your pictures and your stuff now what do you need to do well what number one thing uh, you need to go to another PC machine and you need to uh, download some things I'm going to show you right now what I use to clean up um, this from my previous video. Well, I use Norton boot recovery tool. It downloads real quickly and just press save. Well, I already downloaded that's why I have a three here. Um, just in install it and um, it, it can give some options. Hold on, let me see if you can do it with me. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to install it. But anyways, after you install it, there could be an option where you can click on get to get a bootable CD and ISO. Stupid thing, my pro just kicked in scanning. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, they can give an option where you can create an ISO CD and you can do that. Now, what do you do when you get this and you already have an, an ISO CD like I'm going to use Norton well you need to do one thing well I'm going to do one thing it's because it's my virtual machine I'm going to shut it down turn it off I'm going to turn it off um, let's see Click open. Um, okay. I'm going to play click, click play machine now. On some of your computers, you have to hit uh, F10 or F12 or F whatever. And here, you have to hit X, um, escape. I'm going to click my uh, CD drive. It's got a little bit big, but it's okay. Know, maybe you can make it smaller. Hold on. Oh, I guess we can't. Oh well, it will, it will get smaller, trust me. It's, it definitely looks like Windows 7. Let me pause. It looks just like Windows 7. Uh, don't worry, it's going to be. It's going to get into size like it was before. It's always big. Okay, during the installation, it's probably going to ask for a pen. Now, the pen you can use a pen from um, your 360 copy, internet security copy. Um, 
man. Uh, I'm going to probably not show you my pen because I don't want anyone to see my pen or license or whatever. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, I added my pen. Looks like we should be good to go. I'm just waiting for something to happen. I'll pause the video again. Hold on. Okay, we need to pick. Um, Okay, it's going to scan my so it's good. Uh, we're going to pick a scan. Start scanning. Now, this scan is going to take quite a while, so you better get comfortable. Uh, I'm going to pause while it's scanning and I'll be back. Okay, it looks like you found a Trojan, but um, it's a high risk Trojan. Georgian da Georgian dot Zubat. So um, bad stuff. Really bad stuff, my friends. I think this program also hold on. I think this program also kills your um not explore, I think your task manager. I think yeah, I think it will kill your task manager, then you have to probably get it back. Uh, I probably will show you how to get it back. Or it's gonna yeah, it's gonna disable some stuff when you after the scan it's gonna disable a lot of stuff in your computer. But well, I will show you how to get it back, no problem. And one more thing, um the uh, when you saw that thing that popped out in some language gibberish whatever I called it last time um it also works in safe mode so it won't if you even if I reboot in safe mode uh, it's not gonna work so oh yeah I also forgot to mention it uh, this video is gonna be probably I'll show you how I clean up people's PCs every day okay looks like I found two things and um all I know is uh, it's a high risk Trojan, so let's hit done. Yeah, done. It's probably going to reboot or something. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. Okay, yes, it is rebooting. Okay, it's really booted back. Hold on, let me disable my sound. And look, we got control over um computer. Now, if you look right here, uh there's nothing we can do. For example, hold on, let me pause. See we can't even um hit all control delete or whatever. Let me let me try one more time. See. That's match disabled, so we had to re-enable it. Let me pause. No, let's see. We had to look for a reg register. I think it's reg edit. Reg edit in. Yeah, I think it's a reg edit. And we're going to look in um, C drive and search. I'll pause. Ooh, I apologize, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> My bad, let me try one more time. Okay, I got it. Let's open it. No. Okay, it's already open right here, but I'm going to show you how to get to it. You gotta go to uh, user, uh, user, um, well, software, like it's already open. Oops, not spreader software. Look for Windows, Windows, Windows. Hold on. Current uh, version, uh, correct. Uh, Current version, like it says right here. Hold on. And system and uh, get and we have to come on. 
we have to delete this one. So let's delete it. And right now, let me click and close this. Uh, no, we need to this one. This one, we click Alt. <laughs> Sorry about that. I clicked the wrong button by mistake. We got our uh, test window test manager back, so this is good. Now another thing we need to do is run a scan of him and Pro. Yeah, like we did before. Okay, uh, I found a bunch of cookies and this Trojan. Next. Um, now we're going to run a scan with Hitman uh, Malwarebytes. Okay, looks like we're almost good to go. Hold on. Okay, Malarbytes finished scanning, and they found a Trojan Trapper, all this nasty stuff, so let's hit uh, remove. Once I reboot, we're going to say yes, and I'll be right back. And right after we reboot, uh, and we do the both scans, looks like we, we got control of our um, we got control of our task manager, we got our toolbar back, we got everything back, and this computer is not clean, and I guess the client already owes me some money for cleaning up his system. Now, I like to do is, um, I like to ask my client if what antivirus they would like me to install. I would give them like a list of antivirus products, and, and let them pick one. Usually, like if they want a free one, I will install free one. So. Oops, I spelled it wrong. So they say they want AVG, so we go install AVG and so after they hold on. So I'm gonna install whatever, I'm gonna do a full I'm gonna do a full scan for them and I'll just collect my payment and be on my way home. That's how I clean up people's systems. Again, this is Rust with Rogue Software. Dot Websagam. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Now this system is cleaned, and it's well, it's clean. And thanks for watching. And I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the future videos. Bye bye.